Question 11. In which part of the electromagnetic spectrum do waves have a frequency of approximately 100 gigahertz? Well, first, let's convert 100 gigahertz into standard form. So 100 times 10 to the 9 is equal to 1 times 10 to the 11 hertz. Now, you may have learned the electromagnetic spectrum in terms of frequency, in which case you could go from this to work out which which part of the spectrum this is in. But more likely, you know the electromagnetic spectrum in terms of wavelengths. C equals F lambda. The speed of light is equal to frequency multiplied by the wavelength. So we can rearrange that to get lambda equals C divided by F. And C here is 3 times 10 to the power of 8. F 1 times 10 to the power of 11. Which will give us 3 times 10 to the minus 3 meters as our wavelength. Now let's recall what we know about the wavelength of light. Visible light is of the order of hundreds of nanometers, so that's approximately 10 to the minus 7. So it's not visible light. Radio waves are very long. They're of the order of centimetres uh, to kilometres even. So it's not a radio wave. X-rays have wavelengths even shorter than visible light, so it's not x-rays. So therefore it must be microwaves. Another way you could have answered this is to recall that Wi-Fi and mobile phone frequencies are measured in gigahertz and they use microwaves. 